J.P. Morgan ringing the closing bell to mark the end of the trading week, and it was a down day for the indexes. The Dow finished off 40 points to close at 20,941. Nasdaq was down about a point to finish at 6048, and the S&P 500 was down four and a half points to end at 2384. Market analysis tonight: Jim Lowell is chief investment officer at Advisor Investments and editor of FidelityInvestor.com. Hi, Jim. Hey, Mike. So the indexes fell slightly to end the month, not only the day and the week, but the month. What were investors paying attention to most? I think, Mike, the, the headlines still remain. Uh, Trump administration and confusion around policy and agenda, uh, North Korea saber rattling, and, of course, the uh, French election, which is now a week away that, that may or may not have something to say about the European Union and whether it can withstand that election. So big macro concerns continue to sort of hover over investors. That said, even though the Dow is down today, it was its best week so far this year. And since uh, the Trump administration, uh, since President Trump was elected, uh, we have seen a remarkable rally across not just domestic markets, but really the global markets, which are faring even better than our own. So while there's a lot to be concerned about on, the, on a big picture sense, uh, the fundamentals continue to drive gains for investors who are willing to stay the course. And as we talk about those fundamentals, most but not all of the earnings reports for the first quarter are in at that this point. Um, is there a discernible earnings trend so far? There is. We still have uh, thousands of earnings reports to go, but, it, but as you indicated, uh, we do see an earnings trend. And effectively, it is that businesses that are catering, especially to the U.S. consumer, are faring reasonably well. In fact, profiting more than they were a year ago. Uh, and businesses catering to businesses are probably still looking for some sort of clarity and certainty, at least regarding things like tax reform and uh, trade and tariff issues that may impact their business. But still, we are seeing... Uh, in a slow growth environment, good earnings growth, and we do like to say because it is true that earnings drive the markets. All right, U.S. GDP, we got that today for the quarter. It was only a growth of seven tenths of one percent. Not great. Should investors be concerned about that number? Well, it's too early to say that investors should be concerned, uh, but seven tenths of one percent for the first quarter is an awful number. Inside that number, a key driver of it to the downside is the fact that consumers have begun to slow purchasing cars, but that actually masks a strength. Consumers have been in such good shape that they've already put one or two new cars in their driveway, so they're beginning to peel back a little bit. Uh, that said, overall, uh, we also know that the last few years, the first quarter earnings have been weak, but the subsequent quarters have been strong, and so far, all the fundamental evidence that we see continues to point towards stronger, not weaker growth. Well, let's hope that that happens in the uh, coming quarters. All right. As far as next week, uh, we do have a lot of meaningful economic reports you'll be watching. One of the busiest weeks of the year. So we get everything from manufacturing and service sector gauges and their jobs components, car sales, construction spending. We get the Fed meeting and uh, rate hike announcement. It's not anticipated that there will be a rate hike. Midweek, we also get personal income spending savings. We get the jobs data from ADP and also the broader based non-farm payrolls. Quite literally, uh, we get everything in the kitchen sink next week. And that will be great news because fundamentals tend to hold the market's attention. That said, a week from today, we go into a weekend where the French election on May 7th will definitely loom large and likely add some volatility towards weekend. All right, so we got a jam-packed week next week. Jim Lowell of Advisor Investments in Newton, Massachusetts. Jim, have a great weekend. You too, Mike.